Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing. So this unboxing is from DIY Digital Art. So they asked me to review a couple more items and I'm like, sure, I'll try that out. So here are the items I chose. Oh, I forgot there's a, another thing. Okay, so let's let's do this one in the box. It's pretty obvious what it is, right? Um, this is going to be a um, coaster. Yeah, see, it's a coaster. I've seen this on a couple um, on a couple other channels, and I was just I, I really liked it too. Um, you know, to plunk down my coffee. I'll probably bring this to work and plunk down my coffee. Although, if anyone has used this, has the like drills melted if you put like hot coffee on it or like a hot coffee bottle in there, um, please let me know. Cause I was thinking that like, if you have the drills on here, this like, I don't know. Or, or putting a cup on here with the drills, does it make it like unstable and it won't like, like you're, you're, you're afraid your cup might tip over because I, I want to know. So it does come with the normal toolkit and I have been asked to show the drills um, for the, especially for these special shapes. So it looks like there's only four colors on this one. Um, so it looks like this slightly bigger rhinestone. So these are not n normal drill sizes. This m These two might be normal drill sizes, but these are bigger than um, normal drills. So yeah, I think this would be really quick and stick around to the end. I will finish this because I really can't see me not being able to finish this. <laughs> So yeah, that's the first item. So this coaster, coaster, is that what this is? Um, this coaster is $5 on DIY Digital Arts website. So not bad. It, oh wait, I should measure it in case you really want to know how big this coaster is. Um, so the coaster is a little, like about nine, centimeters by nine centimeters. It's a little bit bigger than that, but the drill area is about nine by nine. So yeah, I think it looks cute, especially for coffee. All right, so next, let me make sure I put that somewhere and it doesn't break. So the next item is a diamond painting. Where is the opening? It's over here. Just trying to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to accidentally cut the diamond painting. Um, so, okay, which one is this? Okay, so you might have noticed I'm, I might have had a theme when choosing the these diamond paintings. So, this is another coffee-related diamond painting. So. Can you see it? It's on screen, yeah. It is this, I guess, coffee cup. Um, it's just a small one, um, but sometimes these small ones are just fun to do. So this is a, supposed to be a 30 by 30, but it's more 24 and a half by 25. Wait, did I measure this side wrong? Yeah, no, that is, yeah, it's, it's closer to 24 and a half. So yeah, so here it is. There is 20 colors in this one and it's letters and a few symbols. There are no DMCs, which makes me sad, but I could live with it, I guess. <laughs> you know, remarkably, the background is not all color blocking. There is like spatterings of one symbol in there. Can you see? So yeah, no, I was like, okay, so the background might be a lot harder than I thought. Um, for some reason, the listing on DIY Digital Art said this is a special drill diamond painting. So I thought there would be a special drills in here, but it looks like just a normal drill. So they might've just accidentally put it in the wrong listing. Yeah, I don't see any, do you see any special drills? Well, here is my, someone did ask me to start, start showing the drills. So sorry if I'm not used to showing the drills, but 
Yeah, I don't see any special shapes. So I think this might have just been um, categorized wrong on on the site. But yeah, it's because it, yeah, the list. I'm looking at the listing right now. So this was four dollars and fifty cents, and it says it's a special shape drill diamond painting. So I was hoping it'd be one of those like full coverage special shape drills, but it doesn't look like it. So do I have all the colors? I apparently have two number ten. So maybe number ten is Z. Okay, so maybe I need a lot more of the background color, so they did give two of number 10. Um, but yeah, it looks like I do have all the drills. But yeah, so while it's still nice, I was kind of expecting some special shapes because that's what it says on their website, but I think this will still turn out really nice. Um, you know, when I feel like drinking coffee. Apparently it must have been caffeine deprived while, sh while choosing these items, but it looks like it's the ordinary toolkit for this one. Okay, one problem taking out the drills is I'm gonna have to put them away again. Okay, so next item is another diamond painting. Um, let's see, let's see. So this should not be coffee related <laughs> in case. So, this is going to be another one of the long skinny diamond paintings. Um, I actually have done another long skinny diamond painting from um, DIY Digital Art that is hanging on top of my door. Um, and well, you know, I have more than one door. <laughs> so I decided to get another one. So ordinary toolkit for this one. Um, so this is what I got. It is... Do you see everything here? So it's these birds on a branch. Um, I got it because I like the colors. So a lot of my diamond painting choices might be color related. So I thought this would be a nice, another nice diamond painting to put over a door. Um, so this is supposed to be a 30 by 80, but I'm guessing it's a 25 by 75. Okay, so it is about 24 by 73 and a half. So a little bit smaller, but I think this will fit really nicely on the door, uh, over the door. And this one has 20 colors. There are DMCs, yay! And they're all letters, so I think that will make diamond painting this really quick. There does seem to be some color blocking here in this white part, um, but the rest is not as color blocked, but I think it should be fine enough. Um, the drill field, can you see? It does look, it looks decent. I don't think I have any problem reading this. Um, I do like the way this is printed, where instead of the grid line, um, they printed the symbols in circles, and I find sometimes that tends to turn out a little bit better instead of just the square um, symbols, especially in a round drill. So yeah, I think I think this will be I think this will turn out really nicely. I'm actually thinking maybe you know you could put make the birds like AB black ABs or just make all the black black ABs. I do have. A bunch of black ABs that I got from Diamond Dots. So, yeah. I think that might be the ease. Like, when I do my blinging up, I usually only do a few colors. You don't bling up everything. But, yeah, I think this will this will look really good over the door. So, I might want to do this soon. Um, you know, when I get a new diamond painting, I always want to do it soon. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to show the drills. Um, I'm gonna just show it real quick. So, okay, oops. so here's 19 and 20. Oh, that's a really nice green. Um, and a bunch of blues, a yellow, some green. Yeah, I think this is just gonna be a bunch of blues, yellows, and greens. Oop. So, yeah, do I have all 20? So this is a 19 and 20, that's 
16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, there's a lot of 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. So there. So whenever you get a diamond painting, you should do inventory on the drills so that if you don't get everything, you could contact the seller right away um, instead of like kidding it up and then finding out you're missing something. So yeah. So this... So if I didn't say it, that diamond painting was $10.75. So the next item is not an actual diamond painting. I was thinking, you know, I should move you down since you don't need to be that high. I was thinking, you know, I've never cross-stitched. And, well, I figure, find the easiest cross-stitch thing I could find. So I got this little tiny keychain. It's the, is it a deer? I think it's a deer. Um, oh, look, there's fluff here. Um, I thought with a beaded cross stitch, there'd just be one color string. Um, I, I don't think it's called string. I think it's like called floss. Is there an opening? Am I, am I not? Okay, there's the opening. So I thought if I was going to do a cross stitch, I'd find the smallest one I could find. And I, for some reason, I thought a beaded cross stitch would... Okay, so it looks like there's just two color beads. So, oh, I see the bead. There's no white beads. Oh, wait, there is a white bead. Oh, these are tiny. These are like way tinier than a diamond painting drill. Um, wow. So I thought little dinky thing, this should be really quick. I don't know about that. So, I mean, am I supposed to, I will, will I have to cut it out? Oh my gosh. Why am I, like, trying new things? This looks harder than I think. Um, I, I see, so, so this is a little tiny keychain and there are, what, there's like four needles in there and then there's the key ring. I was going to say I'm going to finish this before the, end of the video but I don't think that's gonna happen okay so there's some sort of clear string here I'm wondering if that clear string is to to do this um, outline for when you somehow stitch it together maybe possibly that might be what this clear thing is here and I seriously thought there wouldn't be multiple colors of of the floss because I thought it was just going to be one color and then all the beads would be all the colors. So I thought that would be easier, but hey, with only three colors, I feel like this is a good a thing to attempt to figure out how to do a cross stitch. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, where do you? Okay, so I am a complete cross stitch novice. So, so I guess you, stitch around see the instructions give me nothing i think i'm gonna have to watch some youtube channels that tells me how to cross stitch oh so do you do like an x pattern like or do you just yeah so do you do you like like i see there's a hole there's there's four holes around the square so do you just put the bead in and then just kind of do like a crisscross pattern or like ooh wait is there crisscross i guess we'll find out i i'm i might be taking on more than i really thought i would i thought this was going to be real simple with just a little teeny tiny um keychain but is all this fluff really going to fit in the keychain? This is a lot of fluff. So maybe they gave me more fluff than I need. But yeah. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be finished by the end. <laughs> by the time I post this. So don't... Yeah, you'll see the coaster, but not this. I was totally thinking I could finish this tiny little cross stitch. Yeah. It looks a lot more complicated than I think. So maybe... Hopefully, see this in a super, super future, you know, I don't know where the, f was this all, what's the fluff in here? I just unboxed it and I still don't know where the stuff was in originally. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this looks a lot harder than I thought and... And I, yeah, this just looks a lot harder. <laughs> but I just was like, okay, 
let's try the smallest cross stitch I could find. And this was on DIY Digital Arts um, website at a dollar seventy five. So if I guess if you're gonna try something for the first time, you buy something really, really low priced to see if you would like it. So so yeah, not bad for a dollar seventy five, you know. Could try out a new craft to see if you like it. We'll see. I, yeah, I've never cross stitched, so this actually kind of looks way more daunting <laughs> than it than I think. So, so the last item I got is this um, diamond painting ruler. So I actually, if I could find the opening, so I actually do have a diamond painting ruler, um, and I got this ruler in anticipation of. Um, possibly doing a showing how I use one of these rulers. Um, so I, I'll show you like I do I did I do have a bunch of other rulers. Um, I'm, I'm sure DIY digital art does sell the other kinds. So this ruler that I got is for square drills. Um, and it looks like on their site, they have two sizes. I think they have the equivalent of this one, which is the smaller size and then this bigger size. So I already had the smaller size. So this bigger size is $4.25. And then I think the small size is like $2.25. I just looked at it. So um, you can get these rulers. Um, I do have the square ones. I have two size round ones. And then I have one of these kind of rulers so so the thing with these rulers is the square ones are very very hit or miss whether they will fit on a canvas so um i it's so if the square one doesn't fit your canvas don't think there's something wrong it's just that it's too many companies print their square canvases in a completely different manner like i think some companies print their square canvases bigger than the 2.5 millimeters that it's supposed to be just because they're afraid of popping drills and then there's some that go dead on on the 2.5 millimeters and then there's some that actually print it more small than the 2.5 millimeters so you don't yeah it's a hit or miss whether one of these things fit so just as an example I, I I didn't get a square drill. Yeah, no, none of these are square drills from um, this unboxing. So here's like a square drill canvas. Um, can you see? It's hard for me to tell what I could see, what's on camera. Um, so, so I'm just trying to show you where it gets really difficult to line this up. So, so like... Right here, I did line it up over here, but then now it's askew over here. Um, so yeah, it's it's very, very hit or miss whether this fits on a square diamond painting. Um, so, and then sometimes I've found success doing it. If it doesn't fit one direction, it might fit the other direction. But yeah, no, this square diamond painting does not fit it. So I, I, I have one that I have that, I'm pretty sure it will fit. So this is a different square diamond painting. So let me see. Um, and if you could see, can you see this? I'm trying to zoom you in. The, the, the ruler really fits this diamond painting. So it's like I said, there's it's very hit or miss whether one of these square drill um, rulers will fit a canvas, and there are some companies that will fit the ruler, and but very few. I have found very few companies that will fit the square ruler. So if you do buy one of these and it doesn't fit your canvas, it's not the ruler, it's that different companies print their squares very very differently so yeah you could see this fits relatively well well if i put it in better so so i think in the future i'm going to 
possibly I'm going to make a video where I show how I use these. I did use, I did use the round ruler for a long time until I stopped because I found I, I was happy enough with how straight my drills were without using the ruler. But yeah, you, when you use this, it, it will make your drills really, really nicely straight. Um, and, but if you don't care so much, man, it's really zoomed in. It, if you don't care as much or are, are happy with um, how you diamond paint without the rulers, it does take it does take, make you take longer to use the square rulers. So let me show you a round ruler, maybe to just show you the con. Like round rulers tend to fit a little bit better. Um, Okay, it's, so this, I think maybe this one will be a better, you could see the symbols a little bit more um, if it wasn't so ridgy. Um, so sometimes it fits and sometimes it does not in a certain orientation. So I'm hoping I will be able to show you this fitting. Um, maybe it might be easier if I'm able to stick it onto the canvas. So the round drills, I've had a tiny bit more success with this ruler fitting, but it does not look like this is a canvas where it fits. Okay, so the round rulers um, do have two sizes. Um, see, this one is says it's 141, while I have another one that says it's 140. So I'm wondering if this is the 140 size. Yeah, so this diamond painting is the 140 size. So, so yeah, can you see if that this pretty much lines up with it? So, so it, it does, this will like I did probably over 20 diamond paintings where I used one of these rulers and it does really, really make your lines really straight, but it also makes you take longer to diamond paint. So you have a trade-off with how straight do you want your diamond painting versus how long you want to take doing it. I actually don't really like these ones, this kind, mainly because I'm really afraid that I'm just going to break it. Like, with how thin the metal on these ones are, these are <laughs> so much more. So yeah, so I will find the links pro um, to, I'm going to go look up DIY Digital Art and see if they have any of these round ones, if you want to try. Um, but man, this video is much longer than I, <laughs> than I intended. So in case, oops, you just saw my setup there. In case you forgot what else I showed you, here is this um diamond painting here here's the ruler i've just spent like a long time talking about um here's the cross stitch um deer that i'm gonna attempt at some point here's the coffee diamond painting here and here is my coffee coaster which stick around i will finish it all right Okay, it's finished. This lovely coffee coaster. It, this was really quick to do. This took me like one one day to complete or, you know, even less than one of my normal diamond painting days. So in case you didn't see the back, it's like this cork thing. And this is kind of like a ceramic kind of tile. So it might be a little fragile. So don't go like flinging this like... <laughs> But yeah, there it is. It's so cute. It's sparkly. This was really easy to do. I did end up um, sealing this with the Minwax Polycrylic. I was going to use the Liquitex, but then I was thinking this might have like something hard put on it. And I figured this is a varnish, so I figured it would be more able to withstand actual like putting things on top of it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, this thing had four colors in all, and they were just, yeah, four colors in all. I still have leftover of every color, and yeah, no, this was just a nice quick one. 
Um, and I also finished the deer um, beaded embroidery cross stitch. I don't, I don't know what, if it, this is considered cross stitch because you were only doing one stitch across as opposed to an X. I don't know. I, I've, okay, so I have never cross stitched nor have I beaded cross stitch. So this was my first inaugural one. And this thing took me so long to do. Like this thing is tiny. If this was a diamond painting, I would have finished this in like no time. And there was only three colors in this thing. See, there's like all three colors. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if I like, if you remember like how tiny these beads are, these things are tiny. So, so yeah, this took me this took me four days to do. I mean, one of the days was me starting this one, was doing this one, so I was maybe just a half of my normal diamond painting day. And then the last day was actually just me um, stitching it together and adding this fluff to it. But yeah, no, this took me four days. Maybe it's because I didn't know what I was doing. So now, okay, I don't know if you remember the unboxing. There's like so much fluff. There was no way I was putting all that fluff in there. I mean, I put some fluff in there. So they gave you lots of fluff. And okay, so I kind of knew you were supposed to do it, but it was kind of annoying that you had to unravel the the thread into the little individual threads so that you could actually use the the um the needles for it but i was like okay um so then prior to me doing this i did go watch um how like the how to bead stitch video that diamond paintings by nat did because i know she's doing she is doing a beaded cross stitch now and then she did have a video of how to do it but when she did it she was using a transparent um thread and this one uses the multiple colors i think it would have been so much easier if this was a transparent thread because i had to keep chain like i ended up just doing it by color and then there was a point where like here i just got too lazy to change the the pink thread so the clear white ones i was just using the pink one just because just changing out the different threads was just so much effort. Um, I give kudos to people who can cross stitch. I could barely manage just the three colors. I could only imagine if you were doing like one of the heaven and earth designs that have like 80 plus colors. How do you do that? It's just so, it was so difficult to just manage this. And, uh, and I, how do you know where to like, like when you put the needle underneath, I was always going through the wrong hole because I couldn't feel, yeah. So that's the problems of being a first time cross stitcher. Um, I did poke my finger like <laughs> several times. So I don't think I'm gonna be a cross stitcher, although I am, um, I do kind of want to do another one of these beaded ones. I think in the whole scope of things, if I were to go just do this again, I would just buy the transparent thread because I didn't see the merit of changing all the thread colors. So I think if I were to do this again, I'd just get the transparent thread and then you would just be able to do it in rows. And I think this would be like way easier. It probably would have taken me half the time if maybe, maybe not half, but might, might've taken me half the time if I didn't have to keep changing the color of the thread or like, I didn't, I was kind of just, I was probably doing it wrong, but it does, it does, it looks really nice, right? Um, I did also notice that a lot of the beads were different sizes, but I just kind of went with it and it still kind of worked. Um, I don't know if you could tell um, that if it'll focus, some of the, be the, the beads are like different sizes. But I, like I said, I just kind of went with it and it still worked. Um, and I mean, I kind of just did like a, a ugly cut out of it. I mean, the original picture kind of looks like it got cut out too. I just kind of did like an ugly cut out because I was kind of afraid if I cut too close, I would have cut out one of the parts that I stitched. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, this was really fun that I'm, I'm probably going to do another one, but I'm going to go buy some clear thread so that transparent thread so that I don't have to keep changing out the, the string color but but yeah I don't think I'll cross stitch just because just just keeping track of the three colors made me go crazy <laughs> but yeah here's this one um so I actually highly enjoyed this that I I'm probably going to get another one but just do a little teeny tiny one and here's the finish of this one and that's all I have for today. So thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending me these items for the review. And 
Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.